And I don't know what you you saw in Asia, but I know in South America, um, the the whole idea of uh, marketing strategies and and different cuts it's not as common as I see here in the U.S. There is, but it's not as common. Uh, what do you see about that in in Asia? Yeah, I mean, one of the bigger challenges that we deal with in Asia is there's still a lot of those pigs that are marketed through a, a broker system, uh, mm-hmm. where you know you basically have a you know still have a guy that comes in and and selects which pigs he wants to buy, and and you know obviously that you know is part of the the biosecurity concern is mm-hmm. is having these guys you know coming from farm to farm is a, just a nightmare scenario from a biosecurity standpoint, um, but it also uh, you know, kind of obscures the the need to to have those animals in the right place at the right time and, and and get them ready. And so sometimes you have those animals ready, and and they can't take them because you know they just have a certain quota that they need. And so um, you know that gets to be a challenge because it's really out of the control of the producer in some cases. Um, and so that's something we have to we have to focus on. And I, that's changing, and I think that's changing faster uh, because of, of the focus on biosecurity, um, the focus on, you know, kind of modernizing those supply chains. And so I see that over the next five years as a big opportunity for Asia because in the past they've not thought about that at all because it was largely out of their control. But that is, you know, as things modernize and, and things happen quickly, um, that's going to become very important. And so that's an area where there's not a lot of expertise and and there's going to be some some real needs there over the next next uh, couple of years uh, to for you know them to you know for the first time in some cases focusing on on how to maximize that. Uh, the other issue that you deal with in in Asia is that uh, a lot of evaluation is still subjective. You know, so you have you know basically one guy's opinion on mm-hmm. you. So you hear about body shape. You know, and I'm, yeah. I'm always frustrated by that because I don't know what body shape means, right? Yeah. <laughs> and Your idea of body shape and my idea of body shape are two different things. And so we really need to get, you know, to more of a, of a, you know, a, an objective measurement to define, you know, what they're looking for. And so that communication between the processors and the farmers is, is not good at all. Um, we always, we're maybe a little bit frustrated with even in the West where there's some disconnects there between the messages that the packer is sending the, the producer, but um, it's nothing compared to Asia where there's basically just almost no communication at all. Um, and so as that changes, that's another big opportunity. Yeah.